Have you found yourself working from home right now and thinking, how do people do this all the time? This is really hard. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you my top five tips for successfully working at home. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Now, typically every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. However, if you've been watching the news, you know that here in New Jersey, we are all under quarantine. Due to the coronavirus, our governor has issued a stay at home order. So what that means is stay home and work from home if you're able to do so. So there's a lot of people out there that have never worked from home. They're coming from an office environment and they're still expected to put out the same amount of productivity and hours working from home as they do in the office. You see, I know exactly what that feels like. Before I went into real estate, I actually worked in a corporate office environment. And while I've always considered myself a super hardworking person, I actually did find the transition from a corporate office environment to a work from home environment, actually a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. I realized real quick, I had to take a couple of key steps in order to make sure that I did it successfully. Here are my top five tips for working from home. Number one, get dressed. So you might be saying, well, that one's really silly. Of course I'm dressed. I have clothes on. I'm certainly not sitting on that video conference call in the nude, hopefully. But what I mean by this is get dressed in different clothes than you slept in. Do not stay in your pajamas. Get dressed in normal clothing. Now, certainly if you wear suits every day, you probably don't wanna put on a suit, but you don't wanna be in pajamas either. There's something in the mindset that changes when you actually get ready, you shower, you get dressed, you do your hair, you do your makeup, whatever the case is, and you put on different clothes. It gets you in the mindset that you have work and a job to do, and you're no longer just lounging on your couch. So get dressed in clothes other than your pajamas. Number two, designate a workspace. Now some of you might be fortunate enough to have an office in your home, or you could be like us, we were fortunate enough to take one of our bedrooms and turn it into an office space. But if you're, if you're not able to do any of that, you can still designate an office space, a space in your home that you're going to set up your office. Now, right now, while we're in quarantine and we don't know when it's gonna end, a lot of us are working from home every single day for the next foreseeable future. We're not talking about one or two days, we're talking about a few weeks, and possibly longer, hopefully not. So you wanna set up a space. If there's you know, a, a desk in your house somewhere that you can clean off and set up as a workspace, maybe it's the end of your dining room table, maybe it's even you know, a kitchen counter where you've got a stool that you can pull up. Whatever it is, designate that as your working space. So once you get dressed, once you get ready to go, once your day is supposed to start, you go and you sit in that designated space and you surround yourself with the success and the items that you need for your job. So if it's your laptop, if there's some manuals or some paperwork um, or a notebook or anything like that that you need to be able to do your job successfully, make sure you have those items around you so that you know that this is a workspace. This isn't, you know, paying bills time or goofing off on YouTube time. So if you're watching this and you're supposed to be working, get back to work. Number three, get up and walk around. Don't stay in that chair all day long. Now this might sound counterproductive to what I just said. I said, get up, get dressed and sit in your workspace. And now I'm telling you to get up and walk around, but it's really important that you don't stay sitting in that same chair for the entire day straight or eight hours straight or however many hours that you're working straight. You wanna be able to get up, stretch your legs, walk around. You see, because you're at home, you might not actually be as physically active as you would on a normal day. Say if you had to walk to your car, walk from your car into the office, walk around the office, walk around the office to go to the bathroom, to go to lunchroom, things like that, back to your car, back to your house, etc. Well, right now you're probably not as active because you're walking maybe from your bedroom to your living room, to your kitchen. So you you want to make sure that you stay as active as possible. So I know that we all like to drink a lot of water. A lot of us at our desks in an office will keep a large water bottle so that you don't have to keep getting up and refilling it. I'm actually going to advise you do the exact opposite in your house. You're going to keep a small glass. I actually mentioned this on my Facebook live this morning. I keep a smaller glass of whatever I'm drinking, coffee or tea or water. And that forces me to have to stand up and refill it frequently throughout the day. It's also important when you are gonna eat a meal, like let's say you're gonna take a break for lunch, actually take the break, go to your kitchen, get your lunch ready, and go sit somewhere else to eat your lunch. Don't sit in your workspace 
to eat your lunch, go to your dining room or your couch or whatever is comfortable for you to give yourself a mental break from work. It also forces you to walk around, forces you to take that mental break and to separate work from home. Number four, eliminate distractions. Now I know this could be a challenge because we're home, so we wanna pop on the TV, especially right now with everything going on, we might wanna have the news running in the background. But I'm gonna advise against that. Don't have the TV on, maybe some music if you're used to that at your office, otherwise don't do that here in the home as well. And try to eliminate as many distractions as you can. Now obviously, understandably, if you're home and on quarantine and you've got family and children around, you know, you might still have some distractions you can't ignore. However, you wanna limit it as much as possible. If you can, if you are in an office space in your house, like a bedroom that's set up as an office or an office specifically, make sure you can close the door to eliminate distractions. Don't be on your cell phone, you know, perusing social media all day either. If you don't do that all day at your office, don't do it at your house either. It's just gonna cause a distraction. You're gonna go down a social media rabbit hole. You're gonna realize very quickly that you've just lost an hour of time. So eliminate as many distractions as possible so that you can focus Focus on your work and get that done as quickly as possible. Number five, maintain a work-life balance. Now you might be saying, well, Samantha, what the heck are you talking about? I am working in my house. This is where I'm living and sleeping, eating. I'm doing it all in the same place. How the heck do you maintain a work-life balance? Well, I'm gonna advise you that once your workday is done, to actually shut down the computer or the laptop or the tablet or whatever you're using to, to work, you're gonna close it up, you're gonna pack it up, and you're gonna put it away. Now, if you have a designated workspace, you're not necessarily cleaning up your entire workspace because you need it there tomorrow, but if you've got a computer, shut it down, books, close them, notebooks, close them, get it all nice and neat and, and put away so that when you stand up and you walk away, you can actually spend the time with your family, focus your energy on them, and not be thinking about work. I understand that one of the biggest challenges we all face is when we bring work home, we feel like we need to be working 24 seven. It's important that you have that separation, even though you're still in your home, it's important to have that separation. So when the workday is done, you shut everything down, you put work away, and you focus on yourself and your family, whatever else that you need to at that time. Otherwise, you're gonna drive yourself crazy. As somebody that works from home every single day, I have really found that when I implement these specific steps, I have a much more productive day overall. And during this time that you are working from home, one of the great benefits is you don't have to commute. So once your work day is done, you no longer have a commute, you're already home. So make sure to spend that time with your family, make sure to take some time for yourself, get that stuff done around the house that you've been looking forward to. I hope that we all get back to our regular routines soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button below and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. I'm gonna be putting out some great spring cleaning tip videos over the next few weeks you know if we're all gonna be quarantined in our house um, no time like the present to get stuff done around the house so keep an eye out for those and for future videos where I do share some more on the real estate market and buying and selling and most importantly living in central New Jersey and in the Woodbridge area and what it's like if you have an idea for a future video please leave it in the comment section below I'll do my best to accommodate you and certainly if you have any questions all of my contact information is below I'll see you next week